Good morning. Is that not beautiful? Seriously. Oh my goodness, what an amazing view. It is still super duper windy, but it is absolutely beautiful. We are headed to the state park today, the Livingston Tate State Park. It is 7.21 a.m. Sunday the 3rd of January, 39 degrees outside here in Lake Livingston on Alaska, Texas. Good morning. Okay, so it is now about 9.55. We have drained and washed, washed the tanks, not washed, what's Rinse. it? Rinsed? No. What is it called? It's got a specific name. Anyway. Flush. Flushed flushed the tanks. That's the word. So we've done that. Um, I did the dishes this morning. We had breakfast. We had a nice leisure. Rob's cracking up watching something. We had a nice leisurely morning and uh, we're going to get ready here and we're going to head out to the state park. Um, I have my little camper top on and my Zella. I love these joggers. These are Zella joggers. So we are going to go to the park and spend a little time outside today and then come back and, and relax and enjoy the camper. Tonight for dinner is hamburgers, of course, on the Blackstone and uh, my butcher box. Oh, another one, a bighorn. Uh, hamburgers on the butcher box, butcher, butcher box hamburgers on the Blackstone. And um, that's our last dinner here. We do go home tomorrow. Sadly, I don't want to go home. Anyway. So this is a four day camping trip, probably be two vlogs. So, you know, um, oh, I did want to show you. Watch Vlogmas, you know I got this for Christmas from our son and uh, daughter-in-law. She's not quite the daughter-in-law yet, but she will be very, very soon. Isn't this cool? It's a scratch off uh, travel map for Texas. And uh, of course we're gonna scratch this off with you, but probably not this trip because I forgot the command hook and I don't want to scratch it laying down with it laying flat because I don't want to scratch too hard and then dent it. So, but isn't that cool? So it's 254, is that what it says? 254 counties, not counties, cities. So there you go. Okay, so I switched my iPhone. I'm leaving the GoPro in the camper so that it will be ready tonight for uh, sunset. But we thought, since it's not blowing at 100 miles an hour, and it has warmed up slightly, it's 52. The sun's out. Yeah, the sun is out, so it's nice. We're gonna come down to the water's edge, and then we will head off to the uh, park. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. So beautiful. All right, now we're going to head off to the state park. I did get the annual pass <coughs> and uh, now we're gonna head into the park. It really is so pretty. The pine trees just covering the path like that. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, a big ol' RV. Wow. Yep. So there's the archery range and this is the Pin Oak Loop. I wonder if that's the park host. Right there in the front, maybe. I don't know, maybe not.
right, we have a boat ramp and more camp areas. They are repaving in here, so it's a little... Some pretty good sized campers in here. I mean, that's a oh, there's the park host. Yeah. All right. little cabins right there this is where the cabins are so we are in now I think this is Piney Shores yeah sites 50 through 71 Piney Shores nice that is gorgeous hear that water crashing up against the bulkheads Okay, we've come back up from the lake. Here are all the cabins. That's gorgeous. That's cabin A, R, um, maybe that they have different names, I don't know. But look at this, right on the water. Just gorgeous. Look at the reflection of the sun off the water. Oh, stunning. It's a beautiful shot right there. Okay, we're gonna peek in. So you can see in the cabin, super primitive. There you go. Maybe if you, I don't know, rent them for the day. I, I don't know. That would not be for me. I am not a rustic girl, which is why I have a camper. Well, you're <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's the stumps. You got to look out for that in Lake Livingston everywhere. Not just, not just along the shore. Okay, now we are going to head to the only loop that's left, which is the Hercules Club loop. And the full hookups uh, are, they do have full hookups here, so they are in section F, which is Pin Oak Loop. And uh, there's some in the 
Piney Shores, and some in the Yupon Loop, Red Oak Loop, and that's it. So, sorry, it was crooked. four by four <laughs> or a light boat. <laughs> We are in the day use area. So we're going to come over here and take a look Woo! at the pool. I believe it's empty at the moment. Yeah, it's empty. All right, there's the pool. Yeah, it's empty and it's got a lot of yucky stuff in it. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure it's just for off season. I don't know. Maybe it's always closed. But ew. <laughs> okay, there's the pool. Yeah, that look, that's not three months of not being used. But it could be because it's been closed because of COVID. I'm not sure. So here's this little something or the other. This is, looks like their community room. And I don't know what this is. Something. Oh, the restrooms. Okay. And then uh, a little outdoor theater type seating. There you go. Oh, you can swim down there. It's pretty. Yep. There you go. No lifeguards, so you're on risk, do not dive. Access ladder, do not block this ladder. It's a safety device and deep water. Wow, I wonder how deep it is. Deep. Yeah? yeah? So we're gonna go around and go up that tower. So we can take a look at that. Is there something in the water out there? It looks like it, or something in the water. I don't know. We'll see when we get over there. Okay, so we just walked from the little clubhouse where the pool was around this little cove here. It is so pretty out here. The sun shining over the lake. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And then there is Pine Island out there. Here, I'll zoom in for you. absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's not Lake Travis. It's not, it's not the beautiful waters of Lake Travis, but it's a lake and it's pretty and uh, it's quite choppy now because it's so windy, but um, it's nice. It's beautiful out here. What do you think, honey? Yep. You like Very it? Nice. Thank 
beautiful vantage point here. There's a boat ramp over here. Rob said that. I must have missed it. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, they are. They're under construction. I see. Nice. Oh, I'm missing the beach. Need a cruise. Definitely need a cruise. in the camper and I am starting some lunch. I brought with us for Rob some um, toasted, what is this? Toasted cheese ravioli. Sorry. And for me, I made some cheese sticks, gluten-free keto cheese sticks and chicken strips. Uh, if you want to see how I make those, I will link them right up here. Is it here? Oh, uh, no. It's over the left shoulder right up here for you where I made those. Super easy to make. They do make a mess, but they're easy to make. So I just kicked on the oven and we're gonna have some lunch and relax for a little bit this afternoon. And uh, you know, I don't know, maybe go sit by the water for a little while and enjoy our last day here. And um, then have dinner later on. So I'll see you in a second, I'll show you lunch. Oh, I gotta make some sauce too. I brought, um, just brought, where is it? A can of tomato sauce. Uh, Cause I didn't wanna bring the big glass jar of marinara so I'm just gonna make my own tomato sauce super simple super easy so see you in a second okay they're gonna go in those are the ravioli for Rob these are mine we're gonna put them in the oven I don't think I can cook two at a time I don't think the oven is big enough so I'll just cook one at a time and I'll show you the sauce when I make it okay so I've got about a tablespoon of oil in there you can see the camper's not completely level <laughs> And then this is Flavor God's Garlic Lovers. Now, normally I would use real garlic, but I forgot to bring some with us in the camper, so I'm gonna shake this up, hang on. And then just put a good amount in there. I mean, that's, that's a little bit more. So, there we go. And then I'm gonna heat that up, just so they, it sort of infuses the oil and then I'll pour the tomato sauce in and just let it simmer. Hang on, I can't do the stove one-handed. Okay, so like I said, I'm just gonna kinda heat this up and let it sort of infuse together a little bit. Use that olive oil. And then I'll put in the tomato sauce and you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, but I want the sauce to have a little bit of, well, a lot of garlicky flavor to it. If I had some oregano, I'd put it in there, maybe Italian seasoning. I put it in there. I just need to remember to put that in the camper and just leave it in there. So that's kind of the thing I use all the time. So now you definitely don't want it to burn, but you do want it to really kind of cook for a minute or two. Let it kind of sizzle away there. Now remember, when you pour your sauce in, it's going to be very, very, very hot. So you don't want it to splash on you. So there we go. All right, that's good. Now we're gonna. Oh, it's getting nice and toasty. We're gonna pour it in our sauce. Now, if you had some chicken stock, that would be delicious. Here we go. Oh, it smells like a cheese stick in here now. Just mix it together. See, I did let it get a little dark. That's all right, it'll be fine. Mm. Make sure you put a little salt in there too. There you go, and just let it simmer for a few minutes and it will be delicious. Put this pizza sauce, you can use it as your dipping sauce, you can use it as a spaghetti sauce, whatever you wanna do. Just very simple. Now you just cover it and let it simmer for a little bit. Watch it so you don't uh, burn it and you don't get it too thick, but you do want it to thicken up just a little bit. These pots are fantastic. I really, really like these. Um, they're great for the camper, they're stacking. So they were one of the things we purchased specifically for the camper. Let me turn down that heat. You can see it's popping up on there. So I turned down the heat. Yeah, turned it down. If it gets too hot too fast, just pull it off the heat. So I like that it has these grippies on it so they're not hot. There we go. Alrighty. Cooking away. Let's see how our ravioli are doing in here. Yep, looking good. And I just cook everything at just ridiculous temperatures, just 
Oops, oops, sorry, I wasn't showing you. Just at ridiculous temperatures since this oven is so inefficient. And the second you open it, it lets all the heat out. So there we go. There we go. Just pulled them out. Um, they were under the broiler. <laughs> That's the best way I could do them. These need to heat up just a little bit more. I'm gonna put them back in, but I'm going to enjoy these cheese sticks. And there's the sauce. Yummy, yummy, yummy. See you after lunch. That was delicious. When we get back home, I'm gonna be making a whole nother batch of the cheese sticks and the fish sticks from that video again. Um, it was absolutely fantastic and I like that I have it on hand. I still have chicken strips in the freezer, but I'm out of fish sticks and cheese sticks now, so definitely have to make more of those. So good. Okay, well, it is now, it's dark. It is now 6.47 and I'm just not hungry. I just really didn't get hungry. Um, that was a big lunch we had. So my sweet husband is gonna go get himself a pizza and I'm gonna have some toast. Um, this is the bread I showed you guys. Um, I'll toast it up and let you know what I think about it. Um, I'm just not super hungry, but um, I wanna kinda get these tried. I wanted to try them. Um, so I may have that and um, with some butter and jelly. This is my jelly. I love this stuff from Explorado Market. Um, yeah, and they always have sales. So just watch for sales on Explorado Market. They always have discount codes and stuff like that. Um, but the, I absolutely love that. And this came from my local grocery store. So um, if you, these are grain free. So that's something I really appreciate, but well, they have rice flour in them and I don't seem to be affected by that, but um, they, if you are somebody who's keto for carb wise, these have 33 carbs with 10 grams of fiber and one gram of added sugar. So you're talking uh, 30, 23 carbs for a hamburger bun. So if you're keto, probably not, but if you're low carb, may work. So there you go. So I'm going to have that uh, as toast for dinner. <laughs> no big deal. So, all right, you guys, uh, we will see you in the morning and, uh, when we're heading back home. So, but we're actually not heading back home. We're taking the dealer back to the camper, but I'll explain all of that to you in the morning. Camper so back to the dealer. what I say? Dealer back to the camper. <laughs> They're taking the camper back to the dealer because um, they didn't get to finish a couple of things and we were going out of town and uh, we noticed a couple of other things that are wonky that need to be repaired so like the awning the awning makes a noise when it's coming in and out both of them do is that because it's cold I don't know it's I don't feel like it should make that noise so we'll see all right we'll see you in the morning good night you say good night good night good night beautiful it's the first morning the water has been calm the winds are calm the water's calm absolutely gorgeous there is something out on the lake let me see if I can keep my arms still enough to zoom in on it don't know what it is I think it's a duck or something oh it can't be still enough but it looks large from here anyway it's a beautiful morning the colors coming off on the lake are stunning Ugh. And then the sunrise this morning is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> you see, this is why we have such great Wi-Fi in the camper. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my camera and take a bunch of pictures. There she is. Mmm, delicious. I know you haven't even seen our faces yet. <laughs> so we're all packed up here. We are pulling in the electrical. Whoops, sorry, honey. Got the hitch up, and uh, we're all cleaned up over here. One last peek at the lake. We're gonna hook up the camper, and off we go. And as I said, 
this time we're taking it to the dealership. We're not bringing it, uh, we're not bringing it home. Good morning. Good morning. So we're gonna walk down to the lake real quick and uh, take a peek. Then we've got to take a couple pictures and we'll be on our way. Yep. Getting out sure was easier than getting in. That's for sure. I don't know where he's going. Oh, he's avoiding the curb because it's such a tight turn there. This is really a tricky spot, spot 12. It's tricky to get in and out. I've seen several people hit the curb this morning, leaving. Nice job, babe. Here we are again, same place, different day. Many more RVs here this time. Ooh, ooh, look at those, those are pretty. Ooh, beautiful class A, couple of them. So there we go, Rob's unhooking her and we're leaving her here, she's all empty. Put all our stuff, ooh, look at that. Look how they move them. Interesting. There you go. I mean, that is tucked right in, the, look how close that is, you guys, look. Squeezing it in there. That is crazy. Oh my god, I'd be so nervous to do that. And then we'll go by. There's probably like three feet in between there. It just doesn't look it. Yeah, there's like three feet. Jeez. <laughs> it didn't look it, did it? <laughs> 